Hey, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're gonna take a look into edX UI right here in Mac OS. Let's use the Safari web browser and look for the edX UI. And then we could like look for that one right here. We have the GitHub. The GitHub is a Linux compiler but it is now bought by intentionally by Microsoft to build Microsoft Linux application for their operating system so let's go down right here and click the Mac OS Mac OS connection it is not there so let's try to proceed to our next option so I think we have a broken link on our at XUI for Mac. So let's go to the Safari and of course search for the edX UI on Mac. So we have the options to use the GitHub, but of course uh, let's use the installer. So I choose this one, the Mac updates. You can also use this Mac ports, but probably I'll use this macupdate.com. Then let's download the application, of course. What's new? So the new version is the 2.2.8. So you can read all of this information. You also have the options to other downloads at the same time. So let's download the application by clicking the download which is around 94.9 megabytes. Then click apply. Do you want to allow downloads to download this application from this website called macupdate.com and then click allow and then it will download. Let's wait to hit 100%. This is for easy version to install if you are new and of course if you don't have any experience on how to install the Unix or Linux application of course we'll just use the DMG for the installation now it is already finished let's minimize this one and then let's click download and then click this application that you just downloaded and then move this into the application if you have the existing old version you can replace it then don't use the app launcher or the launchpad to open the file which is the edX UI you will have some problems so you just use this folder to open just right click your mouse or two finger top on your mouse pad and then click open of course it will verify first so you just need to open the package first show the package okay let's go back to our folder application and then click open okay now let's click open you can close this one you also close this one and you can eject this one Okay, I just uh, increased the volume so that you could hear the sound effects. So that's how you install the edX UI. 
this is a fancy terminal to be used on your system so you can ls ls which means list okay so i have all the list i could like see the json the systems and of course i could also change my directory so you can play with this one as long as you know what you are doing and of course this is just a fancy way of using the terminal so you have all the application right here from your time and date your type of OS the power battery that you have the manufacturer at the same time and your model even your CPU usage your temperature and all those stuff right here even the swap and the memory and of course the application that you are been using so after the initial installation and initial opening of the edX UI you can use the launch pad to open the edX UI by clicking the icon Okay, so we have our edX UI. If you want to LS for the list, of course, you can do that. And at the same time, if you want to clear, just type clear and then hit the enter button. And of course, if you want to exit, just type exit and hit enter. There's another way of installing it. Of course, let's go to the Safari and then let's look for the homebrew. And just search right here for edX UI and you have to copy this one and enter into the terminal and installation via the terminal of course it will be for the advanced user but for the ordinary user I'll prefer to use the DMG file to look for the edX UI installer for the Mac. So if you have some questions, feel free to ask me, write it in the comments down below. And this has been your Linux app, edX UI on Mac. I'm Blair, your science computer teacher, at the same time your mathematics teacher. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Ciao.